In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the Matchup Info section of Bet Labs. Note that we are looking at college basketball for this tutorial. Let's click on Matchup Info, and you'll see the following filters appear. Let's start with Conference and Opposing Conference. Remember that you can sort or also search to find the filters that you are looking for. Works the same way with the opposing conference. If you want to go against a team, you can again sort by name, money one, or simply search. The next filter, conference, non-conference, doesn't look at a particular conference, just whether both teams are in the same one. So this way you can look at conference games or non-conference games to further filter your system. Division, non-division works the same way as conference, non-conference. You can also filter your system by stadium. Again, you could sort, but since there's so many stadiums, it's probably best to use the search function here. You can simply type in the stadium you're looking for, hit select, and then hit save filter. For college sports, we've also included the rank and opponent rank filters. The thing you need to remember here is that a value of zero indicates that a team is not ranked. So if you just wanted to look at ranked teams, you would just do 1 to 25. You can also easily look at top 10 teams by going 1 to 10. If you want to look at all teams that are unranked, you would simply just go 0 to 0. Opponent rank works the exact same way as rank. We also have previous head-to-head -head against the spread. This filter looks at the previous game played between the two teams and how the result was against the spread. So if a team lost against the spread by 10 or more points, you would simply hit negative 10 here in this endpoint, and these results here would give you your answer. If you're looking at revenge games, or possible letdown games after a previous blowout, this would be the filter that you would use. Finally, we'll look at the previous team filter. This one is a little confusing at first, so it's best to go over an example. If you select the Patriots and we're looking at ATS results, then you're looking at how a team performed against the spread the game after they played the Patriots. So in this instance, the games after you played Arkansas, that would be your record. This isn't your record against Arkansas. So you could look at particularly tough teams, particularly easy teams, and see how a team performs against the spread after that matchup. That concludes this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll take a look at all the different streaks filters you have to use in BetLabs.